Come down. Just hold my hand. All right. So, nope, you can't, you can't pull right now. Just hold on a second. Yeah, you can do it. You've been swimming in the current for so long. Can you pull yourself up? Where was he? Uh, I think he got blown away over there. Come on, let's see if we can find somebody to get you a, uh, a napkin. Here. I should be, I should, I should use it by the water. Yeah. I should. All right. Yeah. Hi. Uh, do you have any towels on him? His dad left him stranded out in the middle of the river. And he's, follow me, sir. And yeah, and he's saying he's feeling cold. I was just somebody that was fishing, but I want to make sure he's fine. Then we're going to call 911. One. Yeah, we gotta make sure you're doing okay, so you don't have hypothermia or something like that sitting there. Yeah, we just gotta make sure we get you warm and that you're gonna be okay, cause we don't. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get you all fixed up here, Jack. David. Very pleased to meet you. Yep. Sounds like he was a bit nervous. Or hey, y'all, so look. The man, the older man from the last video was not the kid's father. I repeat, the older man from the last video was not the kid's father. This man right here, this older man right here, that's not the kid's father. The video that I seen, it ended in the same spot it ended in the last video I seen, y'all. So I didn't see the actual video to this, you feel me? And I, and I honestly did do some research, you feel me? Like, even news outlets said the man at the end of the video was his father. And then I got on Reddit and I seen people in Reddit confirming that the older man at the end of the video was the kid's father. But I'm a real one, you know what I'm saying? I can admit when I'm making mistakes. My bad, my bad to the older man that helped a little boy out at the end man y'all did the right thing salute to y'all you feel me and at the same time david jones jr is still a black hero and the kid's father did appear to be intoxicated when he arrived to the scene you feel me man and then it gets worse the story only gets worse let me tell you why make sure y'all hop in the comment section hit the subscribe button hit the like button you feel me it's your boy vinnie Dwayne. we back with another vinnie Dwayne reaction make sure y'all tap in with me you feel me oh okay. how your bones feel man let's get straight to it David. Very pleased to meet you. Yep. Right. Sounds like he was a bit nervous. Well, he was he was screaming and it was like Sounds like he was a bit nervous. <laughs> what? Bro, he was screaming at the top of his lungs, scared for his life because he was about to drown, you feel me? What? See, look, even though I was wrong about who the father was in the last video, this father right here, I can already tell. It, it, ain't, it ain't no better. You feel me? This is no better. He is still drunk. He still let his kid. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep watching. I looked back to see where you were at, and you were a couple hundred yards away. And then there was somebody else that had a boat and heard him screaming. But then they went past him because, yeah. because the people had told him that dad was in the war over here. So I'm like, they're going to go get him. And they didn't, they just drove past him and then he started screaming even louder. So I just cut my line and paddled up and he grabbed onto the side of my kayak and I just made sure that he could hold on long enough because I was gonna try to lift him up in the kayak, but I told myself if I do that, there was gonna be too much water that's gonna come inside. Yeah, yeah. So then that's why I had him, so I just had him hold on to the side. I'm gonna try to paddle to get him in as far as we can to the nearest dock. Yep. Then he starts telling me that he's shivering, so I'm like, I don't know if the kid how long he was in the water or if he could have hyperthermia. So I was like, I'm just gonna call EMS have him check him out and then I was happy I did come here because they were here, had a boat, was able to come and get you. Yes. But, yeah. No, I'm very thankful of that. Mm -hmm. Me too. First I say, thousand and then thank you. Yep. That saved me a bunch of hats. Yeah. First, I want to say, give you a thousand thank yous. He, bro, he sound drunk. I don't care what nobody say, bro. They didn't report that he was intoxicated, but that's still them trying to cover up for this white man, you feel me? He sound drunk, talking about a thousand thank yous, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, nah, bro. The river takes him a little bit, I think. Yeah. Calm down. Slowly swim the shore. Yep. You got this. We've been in this before. Yep. And I try to get him with the boat. And of course the wind's picking up. Yep. So it just oof, right across the river. Yep. So I had to try and walk it back. That is super slow. Yep. So 
He told the little boy, calm down and slowly swim to shore. What? But then the two older men said, Two people drowned here in that same spot last year. Two other people drowned it in that same spot. And he telling his kid to slow down and swim to shore because we did this before. I believe that. Yeah, he definitely did that before. And this was his attempt that he got caught. He got caught trying to leave his son out there. I don't care what nobody say, man. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. I wish that longer, but I think I need it. Yep. Again, thank you, thank you. I might be seeing each other again. <laughs> thank you very much. I would chat longer, but you would chat longer, but you got to go cook that fish that you caught while your son was in the river screaming and fighting for his life to stay alive. So the black man, he in the middle of catching this. He, he in the middle of reeling in a big ass sturgeon, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He about to be reeling a big ass sturgeon so he could take it home and make that fish fillet, you feel me? But he let it go because he seen this little boy in the water screaming for his life, lost in some cold water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His actual father stayed out there for a long time. Took him long enough to get there. And then when he got there, he acted like he didn't act no better than when I when I was talking about the other fathers that, you know what I'm saying, seemed like they didn't care. He didn't care. He acting all nonchalant about this, you feel me? And the cold part about it is they didn't the police didn't do no investigation. He got to get out of jail free card, you feel me? But if this was a black person and they and their kid was in the middle of the water and he was out there fishing, you know what I'm saying, while his kid screaming for his life, minding his own business, they would have hit him with all types of neglect. The story only gets worse because nothing happened. They didn't look into it. Now, hopefully the boy is safe and he happy, you feel me? But this is definitely suspect. This is weird, you feel me? But at the end of the day, David Jones Jr. is still a black hero because he rescued this kid, you know what I'm saying? If he wasn't there, who knows what would happened, you feel me? And y'all, check this out, man. Check this out. And to all the people that got in the comments of the last video and said and told me that I was a racist and I only contribute to the problem because I'm calling David Jones Jr. a black hero. To all y'all, man, I want to ask y'all.